Deputy Aylward Kesht Trochini. Good morning, good morning. I like to ask the Minister the progress of general safety works and the tender documentation for the consultancy service for the proposed overbridge on the Pilton Bypass on the N24, and he will make a statement on the map. Minister, two minutes. As I have indicated previously, Transport TII, in conjunction with the relevant road authority, is responsible for the implementation of individual road projects. I know the Deputy has particular concerns about the section of the N24 near Piltown and has raised this issue with me on a regular basis. I also visited the area to see this section of the road myself. I understand that the Deputy was also able to raise his concerns directly with the Chief Executive of TII during the recent Public Accounts Committee discussion on TII's 2016 financial statements. As the Deputy knows, TII has provided funding to Kenny County Council to implement some interim safety improvement measures at the Inkbottle Junction and the Tower Road Junction. I understand from TII that these safety works are substantially completed with the exception of some additional signage which will be in place by the end of this month. As well as these short-term measures, the appraisal of longer-term options relating to upgrading the, this section of road and the provision of an overbridge has been underway. TIA has indicated that this work has progressed to the point where the Kenny County Council has tendered for consultancy services relating to the proposed upgrade. It is understood that the Council received tenders on the 10th of November 2017 and that the Council is currently carrying out a tender assessment with a view to submitting a recommendation to TII for approval before the end of the year. Uh, thank you, Minister, and I want to thank you most sincerely for coming down and visiting and taking a keen interest in that, uh, in that, in that uh, N24 and the problems we have in Piltown. Ten lives have been lost there, and you're well aware of this, and uh, we need to upgrade. This two plus one system is not exactly a perfect system. We objected to it when it was, when it was proposed by the National Roads Authority originally, and we said it wasn't good enough. We wanted a two-way system or a, a, a motorway system, and instead of that, they went for this two plus one. It hasn't worked. Those two junctions involved, two dangerous junctures involved, where I said ten lives have been lost. Uh, what we want, I know you have improved, improving works have been done at the, these junctions, but it's still not satisfactory and still dangerous. What we want is, is the progress go forward and to get the two junctures amalgamated and put an overbridge, and that will solve the whole problem. And I, I, I thank you again, Minister, for the interest you have, but now make sure that the TIA uh, will push this forward and there will be no delay. As you said, at a recent Public Accounts Committee uh, meeting, I, I brought, raised this with the TII themselves, and they gave a commitment that they would progress as fast as possible. So I thank you, For supplementary response. I'd just like to acknowledge the, um, the Deputy's commitment, I know, to this. He's raised it on several occasions. He's raised it with the uh, Chief Executive at the PAC, and as it's a safety issue, I, I will continue to give it priority.